Hey guys, I've just got my hands on the first Bosch 20 sear IDS system, um, the first one for me anyway. And um, this is pretty much how it looks coming out of the box. It's going to have some manuals on the top of it. I have gone over the manuals so I can, with a little more knowledge, tell you some, some about what we're fixing to see inside. So I'm going to take the cover off and we're going to take the top off and talk about what's on the inside. Stay tuned. Riley is out here with me. He's always around when I'm out here. And as y'all can see, This is rated at 15 to 20 sear. And what y'all are fixing to see when I take this off is one large inverter power board. This board does everything from cleaning the power to um, receiving the signals from the thermostat. Here's my thermostat wires right here. To producing the voltage for the three-phase compressor on the inside. This board does it all. Right down here we have our voltage coming in and this is our ground over here these were tucked back behind here i kind of had to go had to go digging for them these are my thermostat wires and as you see brown is common blue white and yellow that's all we have we don't have a 24 7 hot wire here all right I'm gonna see if I can decipher some of the other things. Hold on. All right, these are my three compressor wires. And when I install this in the coming weeks, we will be able to take amp readings and read Hertz off of these. This is gonna be for my condenser fan motor. I'm pretty sure. This is a Bluetooth controller. It has a Bluetooth antenna out here. These or my thermostat wires coming in. I do not know what all sensors we have here. They might be well labeled. I just haven't gone through all of them yet. Hmm. But let's look in here. There's something in here that I wanted to talk about. Those must be aluminum. No. They all seem to fall out. Okay, y'all see my heat sink here? It is purposely in the airflow. Under here. Under here we have a three phase rotary compressor. This looks like we have, looks like we have a say, temperature sensor here and here down here we have an electronic 
one sec, is that right? Right here. Down here we have an electronic expansion valve. Right here. I don't know if you can see that because it's kind of bright out here. We have, this looks like a regular pressure switch, like a high pressure switch. A normal reversing valve. And right here, that's got to be a pressure transducer on the suction. And we have a, another temperature sensor right here. This is wrapped up to help protect the copper pipe. But what I wanted to go over is this right here. We have a line coming over straight from the hot gas discharge comes up into a capillary tube, comes down, goes through a valve. Um, I forget what you call a valve like that. It's got a little ball in it so it can only flow in one direction into a solenoid and goes into suction. Now on some other systems, they use um, what they call hot gas injection so that they can maintain really high temperatures at very low temperatures outside that is not what this is this was introduced into this system in what looks like basically an ordinary heat pump system to relieve pressure so that the compressor could start up more easily so maybe when it turns off it activates that so to relieve pressure or right when it starts up so that it has an easier time starting. Now yesterday I put this on a stand, as y'all can see, and I'm probably gonna be installing it next weekend, so hopefully by then I'll know a lot more about it. Y'all tune in for that. I'm gonna try to do a whole install video on it. Thanks for watching guys, um, and thanks for going on this little journey with me. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, how about like and subscribe? And I'll catch you on the next one.